Yo, what up everybody? It is your boy Fitzmong TV here, aka GLorn33. I am back here on Monica's channel. Good to see you guys. You guys know when it comes to the big MCU news, I cover that here on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys enjoyed this video, go check out my channel, Fitzmong TV. The link is in the description down below. I want to thank Monica as always for letting me come on her channel to give you guys this extra content. So we got two big spots from Marvel Studios. At the during the Super Bowl, I did a reaction to that. That is live on my channel. If you guys want to check that out later. Um, but um, in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the two spots. It's not really a lot to break down, to be honest. But but uh, still, um, it's it's important to note that because going to Phase Four, there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening. You know, and the thing that I'm really excited for is these um these not only the movies, but I'm really excited for these TV shows. Really excited for these TV shows. Because, you know, based on, you know, if you guys saw the big game spot from the Super Bowl, you, you can see the quality that they're using. These TV shows legit look like movies, all right? And remember, these are, we're going to be getting like six episodes of these TV shows on Disney+. Plus, So it's going to be freaking awesome, all right? The fact that Marvel Studios now, they have the money to make uh, TV shows look like movies. It's gonna be incredible. And plus, if you have like those 4K TVs in your house, and you have like a home theater like I do in my room, it's gonna look incredible. I cannot wait. We're gonna be getting the Winter, uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier series later this year, probably late summer, early uh, fall. I'm not sure if we're getting the Wanda and Vision show this year. We might be getting. I think it got moved up to the end of this year. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. But the big game spot covers um, WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and the Loki. We got a very, very quick look on Loki. Which they haven't started filming, but they have given us a lot of teasers for it. So we're going to break down that spot first. Then we'll move on to the Black Widow spot. So let's get it. So uh, first of all, here, you guys can see the, the, the shield that Captain America Steve Rogers, the one old Steve Rogers, the one that he gave to Sam Wilson at the very end of Avengers Endgame. We can see here, I love this. We So we have Sam Wilson, he's basically in his backyard, all right? Uh, and basically he's just practicing with, with the shield, you know, just throwing it at uh, trees. Because now Steve Rogers trusted him. He trusted him to become the new Captain America now that he's no longer in this world since he made the decision to go back in time and live his life out with um with Peggy. So I love that. So we see here as the you know as the screen um opens up, it widens, we see Sam, he grabs the shield. And we see Bucky says it's time. So I I love that. I just love that. He takes the shield and he's just practicing. You know, getting that aim because we, you know we know Cap how good he was at, with the aim with the shield. I love this. You got people like skydiving in midair. We see we see Sam Wilson. He's in his Falcon clothes. We know he's gonna be getting a new outfit. It's already been revealed what his new outfit's gonna be. So he'll have multiple new outfits during the um, duration of this show. We see Bucky here. We know that Bucky has a new metal arm. Right, I'm not sure if it shows in this um, spot. We'll see. But we see he has a gun pointed right at Zemo. We know Zemo. He was the main villain of uh, Captain America Civil War. One of my favorite MCU movies. Top three. And we know Zemo is going to be the main villain of this series. So here, now we transition now to the Wanda and Vision series. And we know that this is going to be like a 1950s, 1960s sitcom style uh, of show. We There's still, this show is, the events of the show is going to play straight into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness next year. It's going to be very interesting to see how they do this because there's still a lot of details. We don't know what's going on with this show. A lot of us, there's some people that believe that this show isn't really real. It's just playing in um, Wanda's mind because it's been confirmed by Kevin Foggy that Scarlet Witch right now, she is the strongest Avenger outside of Thor. She is the strongest Avenger. You guys should know this based on what she was able to do to Thanos in the final battle of Endgame. We don't know where really this takes place. All right, We don't really know if Vision's being brought back alive. If this is just taking place in the past. If this is taking place in some kind of simulation. If this is taking place in Wanda's mind. But it's incredible. But you can see here, and it's really hard. I'm going to try to see if I can stop it. You can see how fast it transitions. 
So you can see she's wearing like this is this is very uh very similar to the costume of uh, Scarlet Witch has in the comics. All right, so you can definitely see. So this is her in more of a modern day setting, but you can tell by her outfit. This is her like 1940s, like a country outfit. You can see like Wanda and Vision kind of in like a 1940s couple. Kind of reminds me of something like Mr. Rogers. You can see how her outfit's always changing. So you can see, you can see here, right? So you see like that 19 version, 1940s version of Scarlet Witch. She's on the television. You can see now we, go, we like pan over to modern day Scarlet Witch. So like you can see, it, it, it's going to be confusing. So the universe is expanding. The multiverse is here. It was set up kind of in Spider-Man Far From Home. Not to the way that we expected, but we know that the Avengers going back in time it caused some rips in time, and we know that you know we're gonna be getting a multiverse. It's gonna be you got it's gonna be interesting because if Marvel's not careful, they can you know this could get very confusing. It can get really confusing if they're not careful. So they have to definitely be careful with how they explain how they you know do their multiverse because right now if you watch all the MCU movies, it's pretty easy to understand. If you follow the story, if you watch every movie one by one, because by the time Infinity War and Endgame come around, everything that's happened comes together for those two movies. Now that, you know, we're getting a multiverse and everything's changing, you know, if Marvel's not careful, they're going to confuse their audience and it's going to cause problems for them. So I'm not really sure what's happening in this scene. We can see it's kind of like some high school football game. We can see like there's a band. They're dressed as Captain, uh, you know, they're in like Captain America um, colors. And we see somebody here wearing the Captain America outfit. I don't know if this is Sam Wilson. I can't really tell. We're just seeing this guy from the back. But it doesn't look like him. Look at the fingers. It looks like, you know, those, fight, those fingers are white. So I, I don't really know what's going on here. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, yo, it's, like I said, this thing goes by so fast, it's confused. So we see Bucky and Sam Wilson, they're going to be working together a lot here. Because we see uh, Bucky, he, got, he cut his hair, you know, nice low cut. So we see, now... It, 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 I, honestly, I, the one the Vision series is the most confusing for me. All right, because they, they're changing outfits every five seconds. I, I have no idea what time it is because you don't see the black and white filter here. This could be taking place like late 80s, early 90s. I, I'm not sure. And then, you know, the Loki one. Loki says, Tom Hiddleston coming back as Loki. I'm going to burn this place to the ground. What could that mean? We know that the Loki um, series will be taking place based off the Loki we saw in Endgame. We know that the Loki in the main MCU timeline is dead. But this version of Loki, the one that took the uh, the Space Stone, the Tesseract, from the Avengers when they went back in time during Endgame, the one that you know went through the portal that escaped from the Avengers, we know that this is the Loki we're going to be seeing. So then they, it's a different type of Loki. It's going to be interesting to see how his character develops throughout his series. So we're going to be getting an evil Loki, but still. And here we see Sam still practicing with the shield. We see Bucky. You can clearly see right here he has a new arm. And that's basically about it. Disney Plus coming soon. Marvel Studios Phase 4. It's going to be exciting. I cannot wait for that. So really quick, let's go over the Black Widow spot. Like I said, there's not really much... There's not a lot of new stuff here. It's mostly just new footage that we haven't seen yet, but they're still hiding details. So we've seen this shot. So you don't know everything about me. That's you know we. There's a lot that we don't know about Black Widow, and this movie is gonna be you know going back in her past, Budapest. So we've seen this. So we 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 know that. All right, we know that this movie's gonna be explore, you know, exploring Natasha's past. We're gonna be seeing her first family, which you guys have already seen through the first trailer and the special look. We've seen this Taskmaster. We've seen this. So we can see Natasha reuniting with her first family. So I, so I don't know where. I think this takes place a little bit early in the film. We can see Natasha going up against Taskmaster. 
And we know that Taskmaster is going to be learning her moves. You can see here she's struggling against him. I love this shot of Taskmaster picking up the shield. This is probably when he's facing the uh, Russian Captain America. I'm forgetting his name. But you guys know who I'm talking about. I love this shot. She's like... She's like jumping through some kind of fire. I don't know. At some point, we all have to choose. I'll tell you what the world wants you to be. So, like I said, they're hiding a lot from Blackwood. It's le legit. You know, this is just new footage. It's not really giving us any more details on what's going to be happening in this film. But I think we'll find out more about that when we get the second trailer. And I believe that trailer is going to be coming out, you know, like mid-March or late or early April. Somewhere around that time. Mid-March to early April, that's when we'll get the second trailer. And we'll finally figure out a little bit more about the details of this film. I'm wicked excited for it. You guys know how Iron Man and Black Widow are my favorite MCU characters. So I can't not wait for this movie. And the Black Widow movie comes out on May 1st, which is my birthday. Uh, so definitely cannot wait for that. But yeah, that's about it, guys. A uh, quick breakdown of the big game spot and the Black Widow spot from the Super Bowl. Um... And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Monica channel and also subscribe to my channel, Fitzmonk TV. The link is in the description down below. I'll see you guys later, man. Have a great day, guys. Peace.